going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we're going to be working on this Cutlass Oldsmobile. Really, really nice um, vehicle. Obviously, customer takes really, really good care of it. This one, I actually uh, have serviced it in the past. Um, I did a paint enhancement on this one. I think about... I'm gonna say about three years ago. Um, now I know what you're thinking. This wax is gone, but video is gonna show otherwise. This is actually really cool um, because it really shows you that proper care and proper maintenance, um, it will take you a long way when you service your vehicle. I haven't done nothing else to this vehicle other than the hand wax or the paint enhancement as we call it um, three years ago. Um, so today, we're actually going to be doing, um, we're gonna be doing a, just a much better, more in-depth uh, protection on it. Uh, vehicle's gonna get worked on here in the next couple of, probably next, in a, within a year. Um, but it was time to give it a good protection, right? Um, for today's vehicle, we're gonna be doing um, like a one year ceramic coating, right? Um, we're gonna be using the uh, Drive Auto Appearance, their ceramic primer, polish which as a standalone product it is amazing you get a solid 12 months uh, out of this product as well as you get some amazing gloss amazing slickness you get a very nice correction um, and as well as as far as the water uh, you get some very nice uh, beating right uh, for that reason that's what we're going to be using today um, and obviously the vehicle really stays inside majority of the time, which is the perfect um, scenario of product of what we're going to be using today. But we're also going to be talking about a couple other items. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. All right. So first thing first, we will start the initial process with the pre-rinse. Um, we're going to rinse all this dust off from the vehicle, all the buildup, very dusty. And you guys are going to start noticing. Check out just the uh, water behavior. Obviously, it's starting to be very dull, just sheeting. But there is protection. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but from that enhancement I did about three years ago, there is still some sort of protection, right? Um, I've watched this one a couple times after uh, the enhancement. So that is why you see this paint just kind of removing or sheeting everything off if you see the side panels here when i hit it with the water guy check this out <laughs> you're getting some really really nice beating off of of the water that's just proper maintenance is key i've gone ahead and done the strip wash and we've washed it all we've done the claying and just doing the finishing drying and we are about to start the fun stuff which is the correction uh, with the drive auto but really really quickly for a while a lot of you guys say why are you wearing black shirts bright color shirts you're gonna get overheated and stuff so I've read all your comments and finally I said you know what let me get some Y shirts so I went ahead and got me some Y shirts guys uh, so shout out to all your input we got some Y shirts we got the Serrano's mobile logo front and back but at the bottom unfortunately I don't think you'll be able to see it uh, the bottom piece says faith it till you make it so it's one of my most favorite um, models I tend to always say is man just faith it till you make it and and that's my ultimate goal is I have so much faith that one day um, you know my business will grow and be um, blessed it already is blessed but I feel like you know one day all this hard work will pay off right so um, we're gonna keep grinding it but that is my new shirt I made shout out to all of you guys that kind of have commented on why in the world do I wear some black shirts bright color shirts i need white shirts because i guess it's better for the heat which in reality i feel like it, it kind of is um i just tend to not wear white shirts because i feel like you know they're gonna get dirty easily so i made a couple of them just in case if i do get them dirty <laughs> 
all right this vehicle is finally ready for the next phase which would be the um, like all-in-one ceramic polish um, obviously we do have a lot of wear and tear um, we do have some water spotting we do have some nice swirls on this one we do have the famous i think a lot of people call these scarecrow feet or something like that that can be fixable that's why it's going into a body shop right um, but the ultimate goal today is at least just clean up the paint a little bit better put some protection if you are a beginner detailer maybe in this area right maybe you're starting to venture out into uh, paint correction ceramic coating paint enhancements um, i hope this video kind of uh, helps you maybe find um, a way to offer these packages when offering your customer a package such as this right um, you have to take a lot of things into consideration right as a professional um, and reputable detailer my job at the end of the day is to make sure i give the customer what's best for their vehicle to their finances right <clears throat> i get it ceramic coatings is the new thing it's the best thing but unfortunately not every customer is perfect for a ceramic coating package i see many detailers try to shove ceramic coatings uh, to customers um, and some get even mad because the customer didn't go with their ceramic coating package. Maybe we need to think of truly, is that what the customer needs? For instance, this vehicle here, this customer really takes care of his vehicle. And when he reached out to me, um, he was like, hey man, I think uh, I was, he said, I, I need to get a ceramic coating. I wanna get into this ceramic coating. Um, and I was like, awesome, right? I was excited because I've been wanting to do that for so long, um, but he was like, I am about to put the um, the vehicle into the shop. We're gonna get it repainted and everything. I just need something to protect it, at least for a year, <laughs> right? When he said that, I said, okay. You know, I was like, you know what? Maybe um, going the ceramic coating route would not be the best fit uh, because I honestly feel like this vehicle won't last more than a year here in his house and then it's gonna go into a shop. So spending all that money on a ceramic coating would not be the best fit. So what I ended up doing is just kind of talk to him and giving him options, right? The vehicle is always inside. Uh, it rarely sees the sun. Um, this is one of his babies. And I've serviced it along these past four years, I think, or five years uh, from doing an enhancement. <laughs> and I've upkept with it, um, with the vehicle. Obviously, I think between, he's had other people wash it. Um, but I've pretty much been the one upkeeping this paint. And after kind of seeing and uh, what from what he told me, I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe the uh, ceramic uh, coating is not the way, right? I have another product that could probably be very beneficial and a little bit on the lower cost end of the uh, money side, right? So for today, we are gonna be using the Drive Auto Appearance. This is their ceramic um, primer polish. This is one of my most favorite um, products to use uh, when I know that the customer is not gonna um, maybe I'm not gonna say take care of it because he will but this is more for that 12 month protection right um, when it comes between p601 and their drive and this one I would probably go this one here just because it's gonna give me a much better um, feel much better protection um, and just also the water beading. It's very, very tight once this product cures out. So that's what we're using today. We're gonna be pairing it with the Max Shine um, M8. We're pairing it with the Max Shine um, M8. And we're using a uh, Rupes Yellow Foam. One thing when using this product, which I'll be posting a link to this product here, is it will, it will, literally perform like a ceramic coating this pad will kind of i won't say harden but it will clog and it won't be reusable so always <coughs> i won't say be reusable because you can but always keep rinsing your pad out because this will start kind of clogging up and everything will become more of a uh, it will literally react like a ceramic coating uh, pad where you can hit it with water and you'll see it the water literally on top just kind of sitting so 
when using the Drive Auto Appearance uh, Ceramic Primer Polish, make sure you rinse your pads off thoroughly. Usually I have some cleaner and then I pressure wash them off just to really remove as much of the uh, polish that's on here. So that is just some feedback. Let's get back to work. I know what you're thinking. Why in the world am I not polishing inside the garage? Well, I actually love working outside. I know the professionals tell you not to, uh, that you want to polish inside. Uh, but to be honest, this is just from point of, you know, just of input or opinion. As far as I've been polishing, I'll be very honest, I've never really seen any major damages to the paint when I'm polishing. Obviously, things you have to consider is one is the panels. How hot are they, right? Uh, some, depending on your product, it could be your polish, it could be your compound. Some products, yes, they will tend to cake on. Damn, that's like, um, <laughs> they will tend to uh, cake onto your um, paint, right? That's where you have to be very cautious. Obviously, you never want to work your product in long strides, right? Usually when I do my trainings and I try to teach people on a correction is I usually tell them um, to polish from like shoulder to shoulder, right? Um, and as well as you don't want to overreach, right? So I usually just tell them as far as your hand can reach and as far as low as you can go, that's kind of the polishing where I kind of stick with, right? Uh, but on days like today where I'm working outside, I keep my polishing very, very short and just remove, right? Uh, that's just the way I've been doing it for, for so long and I really just love polishing outside. That's just me, um, but I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering like, what is he doing outside? <laughs> a question you might ask is, how well does the Drive Auto Primer Ceramic Polish perform as far as buff off? One of the beauties is one is you can literally leave this product for about 15 minutes and then just let it work into the paint uh, and it doesn't stain plastic. It's really nice on like uh, metals and stuff like that. So check the buff off. We are at about 90, probably like 90 degrees. And hopefully you guys can see it on the camera how smooth this comes off. I kind of in a way I feel like this this thing like flashes. I don't know if this makes sense, but I don't know. Earlier when I was using it, I was like, am I seeing like some rainbowing on this? But that is how easy this product just buffs off. And when I tell you guys the slickness this product leaves behind, it's crazy. All right, you guys, so it's been more than two hours, I think, since I applied the um, Drive Auto Polish really quick. And I want you guys to see a little bit of the water behavior and hopefully um, you guys can see it, but here we go. We are finally done with the uh, polish on this vehicle. This thing definitely uh, looks way better. It definitely needed that little uplift on the paint. After we washed it, uh, paint was looking just a little, a little dull, not too much though. And this is just gonna help it protect it. Um, but as always, after I do my polishing, I think on any car I'm doing, uh, I'm always using uh, DIY, their ceramic gloss, uh, a two towel method. And I just do one spray on the towel. And then what I'll do is I will just kind of blend it all on the paint. This is just gonna add that extra slickness, which it doesn't need it. I just got so used to um, applying ceramic gloss. Uh, once it cures, obviously, once this product just, you know, take its course, this thing is going to be so slick, so glossy, and it'll protect it. 
up to a year from what for what the customer is needing this so super excited about that this process usually doesn't take a long route it's mostly just spraying on blending wow that slickness if you have tried these products the drive auto um, ceramic primer polish what did you think about it um, but I gotta tell you this is slick when I tell you this is slick there is slickness on this polish and you guys know that I am a heavy coach Kemi person um, but because of the slickness uh, the polish itself has some like greediness kind of feels like rocks if that makes sense but it's not rocks but uh it just has some greediness for that extra like cut in a way uh with your with your products so this one is pretty much final hopefully they can get it turned on and pull it inside because tomorrow we got rain That concludes uh, today's video. Obviously today we really were talking about the Drive Auto Primer Ceramic Polish. Um, is, um, is that a good fit for your business, right? And before I kind of end this video, I want to show you guys a little bit of how it looks. We definitely got gloss. We definitely have slickness. But truly the reason of this video is I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Is a true ceramic coating um is it very important to your customers right is it important to your customers or is it important to you um very recently i started noticing a lot of detailers get mad because their customers were not as taking their ceramic coating and i think it's because of the higher ticket item as far as money wise right um but I'll be very honest as far as my business i want to be as very transparent to my customers i want to give them something that is exactly perfect fit for their needs for their vehicles for their situations in today's project a ceramic coating application was truly not the best route for one as far as cost is definitely greater right um yes in return they're getting durability they're getting slickness they're getting gloss they're getting hydrophobic particles or effect but that's not what this vehicle needed right now obviously it's going to be visiting the shop very soon so we had to um, make some adjustments and sometimes in reality the best fit for that customer at this time is truly a good polish that's going to give them that durability for the next 12 months this product does that really well the drive auto appearance polish uh, gives you a nice correction right so for that reason we opted out of a true ceramic coating and we gave them a good um primer ceramic polish i think in the beginning i said ceramic coating i know a lot of you guys are going to ding me on that one but don't ever think that this is a true ceramic coating this is a up to 12 month um, sealant with uh, obviously i believe with ceramic infused um, properties um, and that's what gives it that um that reaction as far as like ceramic coating once this cures out and we hit it with water you're gonna get some amazing amazing water repellency right obviously this vehicle is going back inside once they get it turned on and it never comes outside very very occasionally will this vehicle see the sun so for that this is the perfect um, package for this customer now once he takes it to the body shop and repairs all these dings and, and scratches it might have um, yes then i'd say you know what let's invest in a ceramic coating because now you have it how you wanted it you've painted it and now let's protect it for years to come right uh once he brings it back from the shop i think we're gonna go with a seven year ceramic coating because he's had it for a long time so i know that that would be the best route 
obviously it's going to be a heavier cost up front but in the long term is where they see the true benefits of that ceramic coating so i hope today's video kind of helped you out a little bit on how i do these types of packages as well as working outside with this product i know some people have asked me about it and i didn't i don't think i've done like a real dedicated video on this um but it also kind of explains to you a little bit of my scenarios uh when it comes to um, doing these types of projects right for today we just did a good primer polish is going to give it that protection up to 12 months and the customer is going to be very very happy so as always guys thank you so much for watching today's video god bless you guys i'll see you guys on the next video